angry guy here. And women are furious that men are joining forces and seeking revenge for feminism. Women are furious that men are joining forces and seeking revenge for feminism. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. Chick that already did this for other guys. Bro, watch out. Bro, watch out, dog. I'm not... Okay, well, why are you trying to run up on me? What's good? I'm about to get in your car. What you mean, what's good? I understand, but you know how it is. She wants to come with me. I get you, man. No, you good, bro. Hop in. Don't even worry about it. Three years, that's what you're going to do? You didn't put a ring on my hand. Listen, bro. Just relax for a second. No, just re good, listen. Just relax. There's a camera right over there. Don't look. We're exposing gold diggers. I right, say listen. Words. Listen. We got us a gold digger. That happened to me. That's why I want to make these videos. Check it out. I'm gonna pull her out of the car. You are gonna come with me. We are gonna get some some liquor. And we gonna have a good night. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? Henny. Anything is possible. Hey, come here, baby. It's really quick. I know it's kind of awkward. Um, so, actually, I should keep this open because he's going to come with me. Uh, there's a camera right over there. We're exposing gold diggers. Look Hell yeah, that should have the best spin i ever seen. Bro, oh my gosh, bro. Bro, oh my gosh, bro. Men are uniting. I told y'all, men need to stop fighting with each other. Black men, white men, Asian men, Hispanic men, we need to stop fighting with, with each other and unite. Think about this carefully. If we're all Americans, we're all, we're all, we have the same culture, all right? And we're going through the same shit. The people that divide us are the women, all right? We've been fighting over women for ages, for ages. Most of the fights in history have been over women. This is how you solve a problem, all right? Guys, this man literally said, it happened to me. So what does he does? He starts exposing gold diggers. He's like, listen, I'm going to get her out of the car. I'll put you in the car. We're going to go. We're going to get drunk. We're going to get some food. We're going to eat. We're going to have fun. And it's all going to be okay, all right? And you're going to find yourself a new find yourself a new chick and get rid of this one, all right? And she's ashamed. And she's been shamed. She's been shamed, all right? He put her out like a wet dog. He put her out like a wet dog, and he didn't even give a damn, all right? Men are sick. Men are tired. Men aren't putting up with the crap anymore. Let's. You guys want to do one more? You want to do one more? Let's do one more. I do want to apologize to my mom because I know I've been a disappointment, and you know I just have to thank thank Myron that I'm doing better now, so that I can make my mom proud. I don't mean to cry. Um. But yeah, like I finally left the club. I'm deleting OnlyFans and I just want to, yeah, just, I learned a lot from Fresh and Fit and it's really, really been better for me. Um, I'm a better woman for it. And I hope that you ladies actually take this information and learn from it because it really will help you. And it's not, you know, misogyny or anything like that. I really hope that you ladies learn from this and ladies that are watching, I hope that you actually aren't just hearing it. I hope that you're listening because it's life changing. Bro, bro, this is what happens with these 304s. And I'll tell y'all where she's headed. She's headed to the church. She's been on the street, so now she's headed to the church. Don't be the one to wife that. All right. So some rehabilitated 304. Listen to me. I think it was someone, I think someone wrote this in my comments. I think it was 50 said who said it. They were quoting 50. Where 50 said, <laughs> 50 said, 50 said said, you can turn you can't turn a bad girl into a good girl. But a good girl will never be a, a good girl will never be good again once she's once she's gone bad. All right. A good girl will never be good again once she's gone bad. All right. That's how that's how it is. See, all girls were once good girls. All girls were once good girls. And then they made the decision to go bad. And, it, and there's no going back. There's no going back for Riley Reed. There's no going back for Mia Khalifa. She's had like two failed marriages at this point from what I heard. These people, there's no going back for these people. All right? They can try to play it off all they want. Someone actually wrote this. Someone actually wrote a comment. And this comment was amazing. I, I wish I could, I wish I had saved it. But they were, I talked about this whole thing with 
Riley Reed and these other people that were going to go to church and they're going to say that Jesus washed away their sins backwards and forwards and all of this. But you know what? What they actually pointed out, they pointed out that in, in reality, God, yes, God washes away your sins, but there's actually something that comes along with that. People will still judge you and you will still have to bear the, you'll still have to bear the consequences of your actions for the things that you did. So while God forgives you and you can now enter into the kingdom of heaven, that doesn't mean that humanity has to forgive you. That doesn't mean that people have to forgive you. That doesn't mean that you, that people will no longer judge you because God forgives you. The things you still do, you that you did, they still matter in this life. The people that you hurt, it's still it's still there. You can't go around hurting people and then say God cleaned, God washed away your sins. So now you know the so you you unalived a bunch of people, but it doesn't matter anymore because God saved you, and now those people God understands, and 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 that sin has been purged. So 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 you're going forward and 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 not sitting anymore. And, and 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 the people, the family of the people who you hurt, they can't touch you because God is now protecting you. They're coming for you. They're coming for you. And they, they, they listen to me. You know what? They, you know what these same people are gonna say? They're gonna say, "Oh, is that how you're doing it? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Then this is what we're gonna do. Then this is what we're gonna do. Then player, we're going to send you to God so that He can then ju- so that He can judge you." All right, we're going to send you to him so that he can judge you. If you get, we'll all, so you get, you know what I'm saying, y'all? They're going to send, so that we're going to unalive you. All right, we're going to send you to him so that so that he can judge you. That's what's going to happen. That's how it's going to go down. This is this is not game time. People, men are done. Like this is over. It's done. The party is done. All right, guys are walking. This men are done with these three or fours. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying these videos. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If, and if you have already subscribed, thank you for doing so. Turn on notifications so never miss another video again. And please hit the like button so that YouTube knows that you like the videos and you'll get more videos in your suggested videos and on your homepage. Men are, <laughs> women are furious. Women are furious that men are joining forces and seeking revenge for feminism. They're not putting up with the crap anymore. They're not taking the nonsense anymore. They're literally walking away from, they're literally walking away they're walking away from the from the nonsense. They're walking away from the from the from from all of it. Yes, period. I hope you're not lying to your followers talking about you driving a Mercedes Benz. This is an Amazon van. Put your best on and get to work. What are you doing? Are y'all driving a van? <laughs> Colloquially called the wall. All women supposedly hit a wall when they're about 35. And if you don't have a family, you are going to be lonely. And you're going to have a problem. You're not going to be able to find a good date. It doesn't matter how much money. You- Guys, a lot of this, this is really what ends up happening with a lot of these women. They don't realize it. And she said it right there. It doesn't matter how much money you make. She said 35, but no, the wall comes way before 35. The world, the wall comes at 25. Because by 25, these women have already gone through their whole phase. I was, I was looking at. I was looking at some comments because I made a poll recently, guys. I made a poll and it basically asked about, you know, which one was the which one is the generation that people like the most? And uh, like 69% of people voted. It was there was 1.3 thousand views last I looked. 69% of people voted for the baby not the baby boomers. Heck no. 69% of people voted for Gen X, okay? 69% of people voted for Gen X. The, 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 the millennials and the boomers were basically neck and neck, all right? And then and then Gen Z came in with 3%. So Gen Z, according to the poll, is the most disliked generation. And someone basically, Rito wrote, like, they basically broke every generation down. And for like, they, called the, they called the millennials entitled, you know, they called Gen, Gen X the gen that made it, they called the boomers like wicked, and then they called, and then they called Gen Z like doomed. They called them the doomed generation. Like I mean, and when you think about it, like Gen Z is not saving the world. There was like a lot of hope for Gen Z, and we're looking around that right now, and we're realizing Gen Z can barely have conversations with one another. Gen Z has a lot of anxiety. Gen Z, this is the first generation that can't join the military. All right, they are too, they're either too fat are too mentally broke, are too mentally damaged to join the military. I want you all to think about that very, very carefully. 
Anyway, guys, you need to be aware. You just have to be aware of this. And men are not putting up the crap anymore. Men have woken up. Men have, are getting off the plantation. They're rushing away. They're saying, you know what? We're not doing it. We're not putting up with it. We're going to go and find, start new lives with Filipino wives or any other woman in another country that has traditional values that we like. And we're doing it on our terms because we have the value. We bring the value. Women are like, oh, we're the table. Yeah, but your table is empty without us. All right? They say women make the rules, but men are no longer playing the game. All right? So your board game doesn't matter anymore, ladies. Your board game doesn't matter anymore. By the way, guys, give me just a moment. I want you to just listen to this, and we'll get back to it. Hey, everyone. I appreciate your support and feedback. If you want to show your gratitude, you can use the Super Thanks feature to tip me any amount you like. You'll also get a special comment that I can see and reply to. Or you can become a channel member using the join button and get exclusive perks like badges, emojis, live chats, and more. Your support helps me make more videos for you. So thank you and stay tuned for more. Guys, women are furious that men are joining forces and seeking revenge for feminism. It's only going to continue going in this direction as more guys say we're done with the games, we're done with the crap, we're not playing along anymore. We are going to, you know, this is the only way women are going to find accountability when men walk away. MWA, men walking away. Guys aren't going to put up with the crap anymore. Men are going to, men are saying around the world, listen, we're done. Hashtag miss me with that. Guys, let me know what you think about the com in the comments regarding this, about men not putting any more, putting up with crap anymore, and instead joining forces to, you know, walk away, just walk away from the nonsense, the bullshit, and start new lives. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember, they're all rules lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.